hello bright and sunny a bit of wind today so there might be some wind noise on the film sorry if there is um i've just come outside to do a couple of jobs and well i'm trying to do bits today bit by bit hang on i need to bend down and uh, there's a piece of wood here that um blocks the gate from rabbits being able to get underneath the gate uh, so i have to move that every time i want to go into the veg garden but that's okay that's better than having bunnies in here and um i've come through with a plastic trug thing um, which i'm going to put some water in and put irises in it so i've been given a whole load of these very beautiful i mean just look how lovely is this um, but i do need to get their feet in some water so uh, i've put a bit of water in the bottom of the trug and um, got those ones in but I've also got uh, more clumps going all the way along there. So I'm going to have to think a bit more carefully about um, what I'm going to do for the rest of them. I don't want to go and buy a whole load of trugs, but I bet you we've got some more somewhere. If we clear, yeah. just, if we just clear all of this out of the way, right. um, then we can move the new raised bed thing, yeah. which is called a veggie pod. Right. Um, and put it here and construct it. And I was going to say, it won't get much sunlight, but it had sunlight this morning and it's got sunlight now. Yes. So yes, it will get some sunlight, which is good. It's going to get more sunlight than you thought. It is. Um, so it's really, this is just loads of stuff. Yes, which has like, been spread about and you've moved into this concentrated area. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we just need to remove it, find the right places for it. <laughs> Oh, you, mean, you mean find the place that's going to sit next until like we move as in it again. remove it as in move it again yeah quite are you going to want any of this trimmed down before mm, oh oh there's a thought no i don't think so i think it'll be all right okay. this is that chocolate mint okay it smells like chocolate it smells like after eight mints yeah in fact there is i discovered there is a mint called after eight mint was that yeah they come in boxes and you get them at Christmas. No, I wish you did though. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. That's a bag of bags. All oh, right, okay, so next time down at the plastic recycling. Well, that was, I, can that be, is that, will that go in proper? That, that'll go in the soft plastic. Then. Will it? Yeah. So, okay, so good. So that can go into soft plastic then, please. I think we should keep a couple of chairs down yeah. here rather than up in the main garden bit. Well, yeah, occasionally we want, might want to sit and listen to the sheep. So let's put those, here. we are just moving stuff around now, yes. aren't we? <laughs> and we know not where. I'm in the polytunnel, uh, it's incredibly hot and uh, I'm absolutely covered in anti uh, anti midge bites, anti horse flight stuff, which is oily. So it's left me with this lovely greasy kind of. And now, the polytunnel's making rude noises. Okay, so it's not me making rude noises. If you hear anything that sounds like air escaping, it's the polytunnel. I had a greenhouse that did this. I had a greenhouse that made the most unpleasant noises, uh, and now the polytunnel's doing it. So I've been in here this morning and started planting out um, tomato plants. They're only tiny. Look at this. Uh, planted, the seeds were planted on the 31st of March. I don't think they liked it. They sat and complained uh, at just literally the seed leaf stage, not growing uh, anything more. So I transplanted them uh, into uh, some different compost and uh, they are now growing. Now it could just be that there wasn't enough light in the house or it wasn't warm enough, but anyway, they are now growing away. But I've started planting these out. I think they'd be better off in soil uh, than just in this compost. Um, I think they will uh, be able to access more water. 
So that's what's going on uh, over that side of the polytunnel. Uh, I'm using strings from the wire supports at the top going down. And then uh, in front of me here on the bench, I have an array of modules and pots, which I thought I'd show you. Um, so a lot of them I I've managed to label. So like go me for labeling stuff. Uh, so what I've done is I've got a chalk pen, like they get for writing on chalkboards outside blackboards outside cafes um, so I can see what I've got. This is Zinnia, uh, Benary's Giant, uh, mixed colours. Um, they're doing okay but I think I need to get these into the ground very soon. Roots are starting to come through at the bottom. Uh, I have a feeling Zinnias don't much like being moved so the sooner that I get them in the better chance they've got of uh, establishing uh, without being uh, grumpy about having moved and then uh, the next one is some sunflower and uh, it's called <laughs> this is sunflower pro cut orange they get to about um, two to three feet high uh, multi-headed I really like them I grew them last year actually and I loved them um, and then two more other types of sunflowers. So this one is uh, Sun Rich Gold. Um, and as you can see, uh, some of the leaves are yellowing. They're very definitely ready to go out. And what's this one called? Buttercream. So I think, oh look, this one actually hasn't grown nearly as well as the others. And you can see there's one here much taller at the back. This is about where they were uh, on the kitchen windowsill, I think. And then, oh, I am so excited to be growing this. So this is not a, a bunch of grass and it's not sweet corn. Um, this is penicetum uh, and it actually looks like millet uh, or, or a fine sweet corn almost. But um, the leaves go red can you see they're starting to go a uh, purpley red um, and they will go really dark so i'm very excited to see just how dark those will go and here we've got a nasturtium milkmaid which is a pale i'm pretty sure it's a pale sort of well milky color um, and this one uh, is cherry rose um, this is doing much better than the other one, so Cherry Rose seems to be much happier. There's a couple of with leaves that are not looking great there, but uh, they all look good. And these are being grown uh, to, to put around uh, the outskirts of the garden and to encourage uh, butterflies and caterpillars to go to those rather than to go to uh, my brassicas. Um, and then also on the bench uh, are some... Um, dahlias. Now I've got no idea what sort of dahlia this is. I took these as cuttings uh, from uh, another dahlia plant. Look, we have <laughs> have got roots, uh, so I'm pleased about that. Um, and then I've got several dahlias that. Oh, okay, so I ordered some last year, uh, and they arrived, and then I just left them in their packaging, drying out. Uh, for the whole winter well the whole summer and then the winter um <laughs> which is not good uh but um that's what i did so um i've now potted them up and they're growing and then i've also got uh, some from previous years and i suspect i can't be sure but i suspect this came with us uh, from our old house um, so there could be several in there, <laughs> who knows, uh, but I will, I will let those grow on and we'll see what they are and hopefully this year I'll remember to label them. Um, and then I've got some very spindly, um, Cosmos, what's this one called? Something or other. I think they're red ones by the looks of the stems. Um, Everything is looking very spindly. It's looking very uh, behind where I would think it would be. But then I have to remind myself that 
I'm in quite a cool part of the world. Um, and uh, we aren't, haven't hit June yet. So, you know, chances are that things are going to be uh, a bit later than they used to be in our old place. But, and here's the thing. I'm not sure that I care about any of that because <laughs> we've got peaches. Look at these. They are coming. They are getting really, really peachy. I've got peachy peaches. Uh, and there are so many of them on this tree. It is just bonkers. Uh, so that tree uh, is like an espalier or maybe just a fan. Look, more peaches. Um, and then uh, in this direction, we just spin us around. Uh, this tree is growing as a tree. Can you see it's right up to the top? Um, and um, this is likewise absolutely completely covered in peaches. And these are a, a donut peach. I don't know what its proper name is, uh, but they look like little donut shapes. And there's masses of those. So I'm very happy.